Why did you make me break the fourth wall? I had to do it in the script or else they'll fire me. I don't really want to do that. I don't know, but you're starting to act really weird, Bramble Star. I can do it if I want. You're so annoying, Bramble Star. Why is there a taped spiky line on your face? Forget about it, it doesn't even matter. No, let's get back to camp, shall we? If we speak too loud, the clowns will rip our fur off. I, I suppose you're right. Let's go. I wonder who my great-grandfather is, Sparkpelt. Well, Alderheart, do you really want to know? Yes! <laughs> well, his name is Jake. There you go. Hey, Alderheart. Hey, Sparkpelt. How's it going? My man's looking like Garfield. <laughs> well, uh, that was rude. I'll see you later. Sparkpelt, don't you think that was mean? No! You forget this. You forget this all happened. Bramble Star, look, I'm sorry for the way I treated you earlier. Can I take the Midnight Patrol? Um, yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, nothing going on here. Uh, Bramble Star, you're a bit sus, but uh, I'll let this one slide, okay? Just kidding. <laughs> Where am I? It's a dream, Thornclaw. You're just gonna do the tea thing, right? No, I just want to take a walk. Oh, okay. Thornclaw, I actually brought you in this dream to talk with you. It's about Bramble Star. You know, what about him? Look, I sense a great power in Bramble Star. A power that will destroy the whole clan. I think he's turning evil. I know. All the heart looked really concerned at him, and he started acting suspicious today. He doesn't have much left before it happens, so I'll meet you in a dream tomorrow, and we'll figure this all out. Because the thing you hate most might be the only way to protect yourself from Bramble Star. I understand, Firestar. Oh, speaking of that hated thing. <laughs> green stripe, here is your green tea. Thank you, Firestar. I love my green tea. <laughs> oh my gosh, just please get me a normal dream for once. And here is your peach tea, Thornclaw. <laughs>